Hello, this is a demo of my alarms. In this case, I'm gonna use an application called AlarmPad. AlarmPad is a very handy application and can contain a lot of tasker variables. So let's see what it can do. First of all, I created also my persistent notification. Let's see that. And you will see here AlarmPad no alarm is set right now. When I click on that, you will see here alarm pad and all my alarms are disabled as you see here off. Let's close that and let's go back to the home screen. And for this demo, I'm gonna use auto voice. Okay, let's start the demo. Set an alarm at six o'clock and 15 minutes. Alarm is set at six o'clock and 15 minutes. And as you see, it will create an alarm at 6 o'clock and 15 minutes and that's tomorrow. And it's automatically enabled. Let's close it. When is the next alarm set? The next alarm is set on Sunday at quarter past 6 in the morning. You will wake up in 17 hours and 7 minutes. Okay, and you heard the voice told me how many hours and minutes are left to the next alarm. So as you see, I have one alarm set. Let's open the notification bar and you will see here the alarm is set Sunday at 6 o'clock and 15 minutes. So the next thing is I'm gonna disable that alarm. Disable next alarm. Next alarm is disabled. And you will see here that alarm is now off. It's disabled. And let's open the notification bar right now. And you will see here no alarm is set. Let's close that. Delete next alarm. Next alarm is deleted. And you saw the next alarm is deleted. So let's open our alarms right now. And for example, I'm gonna set my work alarm on. Okay, it's on right now. Let's close it. Disable work alarm. Work alarm is disabled. And you will see here my work alarm is automatically disabled. Also remember, I can set my alarm manually. For example, using the notification bar. Let's open the notification bar again. And you will see here alarm pad, no alarm is set right now. I can cancel the next alarm or I can set a new alarm. For example, when I click on set alarm, you will see a scene pop up. Here is a scene and I can give my alarm a title and I can put the hours inside that text box and the minutes as well. And I can save it and cancel that as well. So in this case, I'm going to create a new alarm title, for example, personal and at 7 o'clock and 20 minutes for examples and let's save that and let's open the notification bar again and you will see here the next alarm is a personal alarm and is set on Sunday at 7 o'clock and 20 minutes. So that's another way to create an alarm. Let's delete that alarm right now. Let's cancel that alarm. Okay, and no alarm is set right now. So it's deleted right now. What can I do with this alarm? You can set enable, disable, delete alarms. You can use a lot of different tasker variables. You can set contexts based on variables and you can even read your calendar items and weather loud. So that's what this application can do. So it has a lot of tasker variables. So also remember this application is still in beta. So there is a stable version on the Play Store, but with the tasker plugins, this is only beta. You can get the beta version of this application by registering on a Google plus community. Also I will provide the link inside the description. I hope you like this video. If you have any comments or questions you can leave that on my Google plus community. Bye.